Okay, this one's for Daniel. Your DX2547 is done. We've been testing it out most of the day. Unfortunately, as you can see by the needle, there's no, uh, no conditions running here in Central Texas. But now there's some data. Lower side, not hearing anybody. But it's all working good. Even, let's see, let's go down here to Super Bowl. Super Bowl, where are you? Eh, not there. <laughs> yep, I'm on AM there. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's dead. Anyways, uh, this is channel mode. We've had some customers ask about the channel mode and how that all works and why would we have, um, you know, two frequency counters. Well, I want to make sure you understand something. This is actually more of a frequency counter than a display, but it's still, it really isn't a counter, it's more of a display. The one that's in here is actually a, a, a true frequency display, not really a counter. It's looking at the math that the kit does and saying this is where the radio should be, and it's pretty accurate. Um, but you don't need to have it up there. As you see in channel mode, I have this uh, thanks, and you can put your call sign in there, your name. Uh, just to explain what this does, that little guy there says you're in receive, and when you uh, go ahead and key it, you're in transmit, goes back to receive. Eh, you know, something to do. So if you want, you can go to VFO mode, and that's where I think somebody is getting confused. Uh, some of the people, if we're going to hold it in, there's channel mode, uh, that's your HF receiver, there's VFO mode. So we push it again, all right? That's VFO mode. The VFO mode is exactly what it says. It's a VFO. It is not a channel display, of course. It shows your frequency, but, but this you can move by any digit you want and go wherever you need to go, okay? So it acts like an actual VFO. Um, you can come down here and, you know, as small a steps as you need to do the to do the VFO function. And, of course, down here, then, you get your custom uh, text. Let's do the clarifier. The clarifier, you say, well, wait a minute, the clarifier ain't working. Why ain't the clarifier working? Well, in VFO mode, you're running this as your transmit receive digits. Let's go back over here to... Um, Oh, oh, that's the other thing. Uh, band scan mode, yeah. Uh, band scan mode, this will scan the entire settings of the radio. If someone's talking, it'll go ahead and stop if you have these lines turned on. If you do this, rotate it once, you get those lines, and that tells you that it, it stops. Anyway, back to um, where we want to go. I held it too long. And just to go back over that real quick, when you're in VFO mode, hold your knob in until it gets... To VFO scan and it'll, it'll scan the whole band. It'll go all the way up to the top where you where you set the top and then it'll jump down to the bottom and go where you set the bottom. So that's a pretty cool little function and that's a great you know if you're just listening around want to see what activity are on the channel it's great to do that. So we hold it in go back here to channel mode where are you there you are. Now if you notice uh, if we had the frequency counter function on you'd see the frequency counter up in here. But since we don't have it turned on in the menu, you just get to see your call sign up there. The channels do the same thing. You can go in the smaller steps, or you can come here and go in the higher steps, right? But you'll notice that in the, uh, let's see, let's go back to 20 here. In the channel mode, the clarifier actually does work, if you notice the red digits are changing there, okay? So that's something so that you know where you are. If you had that frequency counter display up here, that will give you one more digit of resolution. Actually, let's turn that on. So let's go in here, go to settings. And that's where you set your username. This will be where the Roger beep, you set that. You have 20 Roger beeps and then a random one. Uh, when it's at zero, it's off course. You can delay your PTT uh, frequency meter. Short press, pop it in there. Now let's hold it in until we go back to the menu. And let's go over here to uh, channel mode. Whoop. And now watch what happens. Instead of the name, now you get the, the channel uh, frequency and you get to move it up and down. It's also settable. You don't want to set it to move it like 
10 KC or something. And the reason, well, you can, but the reason why is it's going to get real touchy. Okay, it's going to be real hard to tune. You can put a 10, to, uh, 10 turn pot in here and then it makes it really nice, but the customer didn't need that. And then, like I said, you have VFO mode, so no reason. All right, let's go back over to the menu and go here to the radio receiver, which is your HF receiver. And again, just like with 11 meters and 10 and all the way around, there's just nothing happening today. <laughs> there's no skip to demo, but that's all right. You do the same thing here. You dial uh, the frequency that you want. You know, you can go to uh, 500 kilohertz up to 15 megahertz. And anywhere in between there, you find something you want to listen to. Let's say you want to go over here and listen to your favorite local radio station. Yep, we're on AM. Oh, there we go. I'll go back. There. T of 3,000. That is going to be going up. So, you know, you can... You know, so it's really, really versatile. Um, let's go back and show that Roger Beep function. Okay. Let's go into the settings menu. And the Roger Beep is kind of cool. It works. You can set one you can set one of any 20 of the Roger Beeps or 19 I think it is. Yeah, and then then yeah, 20 and then random. And random just gives you well, I'll show you here. Let's see if we have something listening. Let me go back to channel mode here. Back to the settings, back to channel mode. Yeah, let me turn up. Whoop, let me turn up the service monitor a little bit. And all I'm doing is just keying the mic once, letting up. And that's the random. And it might go through the same one a couple times. And it just keeps going through all 20 of them. And again, to shut that off, you just hold your button in, go to your settings. Ah, there we are. Go over here to Roger Beep. It's on a random. And just dial down and turn the Roger Beep function off. And you're back again. So, you know, that works out pretty good. Um, receives great. Uh, when there's <laughs> some skip that we could listen to, I'd love to have it going. But you see the other videos where it's on. Um, I hope I covered everything for you. Uh, oh, also... Um, he wanted to have, let's go and make sure, let's see, where are we here? Not the name, excuse me, what am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing there. Roger beeps off, okay, so I just want to make sure. And we're going to go back here and go back to channel mode. Okay, and also we have uh, direct inject. You can hear the audio back there, one, two, three, four. That's on normal, okay? When you go to nine, switch this button over here to nine. You get nothing. One, two, three, hello, 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 nothing, nothing, nothing. Just a dead key. And then when you go over here to 19, you don't get anything through the mic, but you get it to the direct inject um, quarter-inch jack in the back of the radio. So if you want to use your mic, just stay in normal, and it works really good there. Uh, the clarifier does work. As you saw, this button does not have any effect anymore. Um, you're not going to have that because it, there's really nothing to turn on and off. If you want to split the clarifier from transmit and receive, there is a menu function for that as well. Uh, so uh, download the manual at www.ddsvfo.com and you'll have uh, a pretty cool manual. I think that's it. I hope everybody has a, a great week of skip. Please send skip down our way. I'd love to be shooting skip. Tried all day and just absolutely nothing. Have a good one, Daniel. I hope you like the radio.